Hi, Leo. How are you doing? Deanna here, Intuitive D1111. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I do want to let you know that right now I have a giveaway for a free reading with me. All you have to do is subscribe and comment on one of my December videos and you can win a free reading. And then also if you want your own personal reading for the time being, regardless, I actually have 25% off in my new Etsy shop. I rarely, I have never done a sale this reduced before. So I am really excited to be able to offer that to you guys. The link will be down below as well. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. We're going to go ahead and see how your person is feeling for you and your connection. Um, I'm going to start with these cards here. <laughs> and then we're going to clarify with the tarot. I'm sorry. Okay, so one of the other readings, maybe you guys have that in your Sun, Moon, uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, one of your other natal chart placements, but I believe they started off with the same card. It says, I don't know why I can't stay away from you. So this person, even if they're not even physically around you, you are all in their energy, Leo. Um, how's this person feeling for you? Transportation issues. So maybe they feel like they have a hard time getting towards you. Maybe you guys live at a distance. Um, maybe their car just broke down. Maybe your car broke down. Um, well, this, this is this is tough, right? For some of you, yeah, they physically can't get to you, <laughs> but they want to, right? Because they don't know why they can't stay away. How's this person feeling for you, Leo, and your connection? What's going on? <sighs> okay. It says, when I saw you, it was no coincidence. So for some of you, this is crazy, and I'm hearing this. Some of you, this person was sent to talk to you. Now, I know that sounds weird, but I really feel like there have been times when you've seen this person, and it it was very strategic, okay? It was not just um, coincidence, right? No, they had that planned. They want to let you know that they miss you so much. Bottom of the deck. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what's going on here. Okay, so Leo, why is it that they don't know why they can stay away from you? I mean, we know why, right? Because you're a Leo. I mean, how can you stay away from a Leo? It's hard to do that, right? <laughs> Four of Swords, but they're trying. They're trying. You guys are probably on a break right now. Um... With the King of Pentacles here, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, and they can't get you off of their mind. So whether they're in your presence or not, it's like you are orbiting their energy, okay? Um, they could be healing right now. I don't know if they have something physically going on with them or if they just, you know, the Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords, so maybe they were previously hurt in another connection and they're trying to heal now. Go ahead and clarify these transportation issues. What's going on here with how your person is feeling for Leo? Yeah, the five of pentacles. For some of you, they feel like they want to be with you this holiday season, but they physically can't travel to, toward, towards you. So it could be um, for some of you if they're in a different country, or it could be even the fact that maybe they're a state away, or it could be the fact of also... Um, you know, for some of you, I'm hearing that they can't really budget in to afford a plane ticket right now. For others of you, something did actually happen with their vehicle. They could have had an accident or something else happened and they feel left out like they can't get to you. Five of Pentacles also talks about financial hardships. So for, you know, for a lot of you, they feel like, okay, you know what? I want to get to Leo, but I need to save. Or this could be vice versa if you're a cross watcher watching. So just kind of take it as it resonates. But I feel like they're waiting you know, they're waiting to be able to reconnect with you. They feel a strong soul connection with you with this red string of fate here. Okay. So let's see here. So it says, when I saw you, it was no coincidence. Let's clarify that. What is that about? What is this here? Ooh, that's crazy. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I just, I'm picking up on different energies here. So we have the Seven of Swords and the Justice card. This can mean a lot of different things, guys. Okay, I'm gonna throw out, I'm, I'm just gonna say some different things and it might sound crazy. Seven of Swords can talk about deception. Like maybe they were in another relationship, but for whatever reason, they couldn't stop focusing on you, right? Because um, the Justice could also be a contract. 
For others of you, this person could also be in a legal field. And for whatever reason, <laughs> they've been watching you and they're stuck on you. This is crazy. I'm, I'm getting some random stories. For others of you, um, they've been trying to avoid this connection, but they're not able to. Like th this person could have literally told themselves, you know what? No, I am not going to be dealing with Leo anymore, you know, because of A, B, C, D, E, right? All these different reasons. Um, but they're trying to plan to be where you're at because they know they hurt you and betrayed you in the past and they want to make things right with the justice card. So those are my random stories <laughs> for what I'm getting off of these cards here. This is really interesting reading. What is this? The strength card. There you are. This person could also have Leo in their chart. If not, it's like they've been trying to contain themselves because they have like a lot of passion for you. I feel like this person has been watching you for a while. It's like if they're not, you know, maybe they're at a distance so they can't necessarily watch you for some of you, but they're finding some way to keep an eye on you. For some of you, they can even have people literally like family or friends watching you. So that took a turn. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and clarify. I miss you so much, Leo, for how your person is feeling for you. This is crazy. <laughs> we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. This person is overly emotional over you. Normally, you know, the Queen of Cups can be like, oh, you know, someone that is um, emotionally manipulative. And this person could have been emotionally manipulative. But at the same time, I feel that this person, they have so much they have so many emotions for you that it freaks them out. Like it's very intense for this person. Um, yeah, I feel like they're trying to manifest you back in with the magician. They're trying to use all their tools to see how they can get you to be open with them again. Because for some of you though, you have shut off towards this person because you know, they hurt you in the past, right? With the seven of swords. But this person is trying to strategize on how they can go about, um, you know, getting you to trust them again, right? So good luck with that. <laughs> All right, let's get a near future outcome um, for Leo and their person. Okay, we got the Eight of Swords in reverse. So that talks about getting out of self-victimization or getting out of feeling trapped. Near future outcome for Leo and love. What's going to happen in this connection? We got the Two of Pentacles. So this person doesn't want to be stuck anymore. For a lot of you, this person is very busy. They're trying to make up for any financial losses that they had. They're still juggling a lot. Um, they want to be successful with the six of wands. Um, they want victory. Like It's almost as if they are afraid to come towards you if they feel they're going to be rejected. Near future outcome for the Leos watching this video, please. One more card. Can we get one more card? Ooh. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, someone now, I'm getting multiple things. For some of you, they're afraid that you're angry and upset with them. <laughs> so they're trying, so they're trying to, you know, nobody wants to see a Leo pop off like that. Let's just say it, right? Um, for others of you, they are worried or afraid that you might have somebody else in your life. And then for others of you, they are in the process of letting go of somebody else that kept them stuck and away from you another uh, like a karmic energy so take whatever resonates leave what doesn't definitely like the video if you enjoyed it and then subscribe and comment so you guys could win a free reading okay all right bye leo thank you